Hey everybody, this is Dark Swan back for the sixth installment of my author reviews. This may be a record since I have just done a video and I'm working on one now and I might do another one before the day is through. Uh, the author review for this case will be actually a double punch since I'll be doing two authors since they co-write the series that I am currently into. Uh, the authors are Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child, and they're the masterminds and co-writers behind the series for uh, Lysias Pendergast, uh, FBI Special Agent Extraordinaire, and Mr eccentric, enigmatic, personified. Uh, let's see. Uh, the series itself is mostly in the suspense and action thrillers. I know it's repetitive on my part, but I do prefer uh, action thrillers and suspense thrillers as they're on the top of my list of what I like to read other than romance novels and probably historical fiction, if the historical part is interest for me. Uh, let's see, most of the books in the Pendergast series are standalone novels, but except for a trilogy that's kind of stuck in the middle of the series, uh, that brings in the brother of Pendergast, who is a criminal mastermind, uh, Brimstone, Dance of Death, and The Book of the Dead. Uh, other than that, uh, most of the books are on their own, and some of the characters and maybe events, emphasis on the word maybe, uh, some of the other events from previous novels will kind of pop up, and and kind of either affect the book or just bring up a conversation between the characters as some of the events happen within the area of the uh, Museum of Natural History in uh, New York City. Uh, well, the authors find a way to bring their collective juices together since both have seem to have their own style of doing writing since I have been fortunate to read both uh, authors on their own in their solo novels and both of them are quite different but work well together despite their writing styles since one was uh, an editor in the past, while well, the other one did mostly short stories and other little uh, stuff along the way before they met. Uh, the latest novel in the series, I believe, is Cemetery Dance. And one of the uh, main characters of sorts that's kind of done like a pop-up in other novels, I'm afraid, does pass away, well, is killed, not pass away, but killed very in a very violent and disturbing way, but for those who haven't read the book, I'm not going to give it away. Uh, Simulator Dance was originally going to be called Reverent and released in winter, uh, the fall of last year, but... It was pushed to May of this year and, uh, let's see, and renamed Cemetery Dance, mainly, I suppose, because of what the topic of the novel was. And it wasn't the best novel of the series, but it does spark the mind and get ideas of maybe one person's own interests or just stuff in general. 
Uh, let's see. What else can I say about these two guys? Uh, hmm. Well, actually, uh, the Cemetery Dance isn't the only one that I find that wasn't up to snuff. Uh, the first two novels, actually, uh, Relic and Reliquary, I find were a bit too detailed in what happened and where, but it does help and get the characters introduced for future novels and uh, lead up to other plots that might happen in the museum since they, it is brought up since, well, a lot of it gives uh, pub publicity for the museum in the books anyway. Uh, for those who are interested in the series, uh, the site for uh, Douglas and Lincoln is uh, www.prestonchild.com and there is a form for fans and such which is linked somewhere in the site and it does give uh, the listing of books in the Pendergast series and there are other books that they did write together but aren't in the series of Pendergast and has other characters that we're in the series and appears in these books itself. And this is Dark Swan Zero One signing off.